gonna be subpoenaed and you're gonna testify against that thug boyfriend of yours. Leave me alone. Prison. I mean, you lied to Logan. You just let him on. You know, Johnny murders my son, dumps him by the side of the road, and now you're trying to act like you're nuts to get out you of it. You think that I'm faking? Yes, you think I do. I want to be here. I think you do. I think you saw what your mother went through, and I think you're trying to mimic I'm her. I'm not. I would never do yes, that. Yes, you are. You're trying to to use what destroyed your mother to get out of this. Go house. away. Luke Spencer's daughter. You're not going to get away with it, Lulu. Not... Leave me alone. Do you know how ashamed your mother would. Go be? away. Hello, you know Baldwin. Just... Hey. Oh, come on. What is? What are you doing? You screaming at a girl who's in shock? What's wrong with you? She, she's faking all of this. She's just acting crazy. She doesn't want to have to testify against her boyfriend, the murderer. Get out of here. Hey, listen, Corinthos, look at this. You see? I'm on the job. Potential you, witness. You're going after Luke Spencer's daughter because this is all about you and your pathetic vendetta. You know, my son was murdered. You of all people, I think, would understand this. Wasn't your son just shot in the head? Do you not want revenge? So why wouldn't I? Your grief doesn't excuse what you just did to Lulu. What are you? Her protector now. Are you gonna help her the same way you helped my daughter, Karen? Are you gonna hook her on drugs and get her to strip? So you wanna go there? Yeah. Okay. You need to leave now. I'm gonna call my lawyer. I'll have Diane call the state bar and write you up for whatever violation she can come up with and then I'll have her call a press conference so the whole world can see that you're up here in a mental hospital attacking a defenseless traumatized girl you're not gonna look like a grieving father you know what you're gonna look like the coward that you are well you're calling lawyers call her one He's gone. He's gone now. It's not gonna hurt you. No one's gonna. I'm not gonna let anybody hurt you. Can you look at me, Lula? Cool. Breaks, you know, from reality. They're scary. Believe me, I know. You see things that can't be real, but they're real to you. And you try to be strong. You try to get yourself, you know, together. And everything's okay for a little while, and then. Something happens, you see a vision, hear voices whispering. You don't know if it's a thought, a dream, a nightmare. I've been where you are, and the worst part for me was that I lost the belief in myself. I thought I was a burden to everybody who loved me, and then when I, I, I tried to get I tried to get better and will myself to survive in the, in, in the real world and, con, con, you know, get some control. It got worse for me. And you know what? All I wanted to do was hide. And I understand that you find comfort in that 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 makes you feel safe but i'm just you know speaking for myself i felt hopeless when i would let myself disconnect i hate this place i know i know what that's about i hate the way they look at me a lot of people recover from breakdowns I don't know if you know this. I'm gonna let you in on a thing here. I don't know if your dad told you, but I was diagnosed with something called bipolar disorder. And my life is good. I take medication. I see doctors every once in a while, which is what you need to do because I'm telling you right now from experience, you can't solve this on your own. I can't solve anything. Gotta let the doctors help you. Okay. And you, you know, you don't have to be alone in this. I can talk. I can call your dad. No. 
I mean, I've tracked him down before. He, he needs no, to know. No, I don't want my dad to know about this. It was terrible for him when my mom went crazy. Maybe he'll be better when he gets back. Hello? Hi. Hi. How about truffles? trying to make me fat. Thanks. Well, you scared us all half to death. Couldn't have called or something. That's... What do you expect? I was worried. Do you want one? This is weird. We basically hate each other. Yeah, definitely. But I mean, you're the only person that I can trust because... You knew that I killed Logan, and you kept it a secret, especially from those that could have used it against me. Logan was a terrible person who was trying to hurt you. Can't let him ruin your life. I just feel so guilty still. Guilt is a waste of time. I killed somebody. Who was trying to kill you. You have to forget about Logan and focus on getting better. Um, I can't. I see him. See Logan. And he's he's bloody and he's just stands there and he looks at me. Well, um, maybe we should just get you a TV or something. I just don't know what he wants. He doesn't want anything. He's dead, Lulu. He's not real, okay? And if you are seeing Logan, it's because of some post-traumatic shock or misplaced guilt or something like that. But you you need to just ignore it and, and maybe he will go away. I just think that I should confess. No. You shouldn't. If I don't tell the truth, I am going to get worse and worse, like my mother, until I go completely crazy. If anyone... Think about this, Lulu, okay? If, if you confess, no one's going to believe you. You're in here. No offense. And uh, Johnny is never going to admit that you did it. What kind of case do they have against Johnny? What, do I look like a lawyer? No, but you're the only one who tells me the truth. Everybody else is... Vague and patronizing, except for Scott Baldwin, Scott who exaggerates. Scott Baldwin is a loathsome creep, just like his son, who, pay attention, tried to rape me and then kill you. So you're saying Logan deserved to die? Yes. He absolutely did. And if I had a knife when he was attacking me, I wouldn't have tried to play along or talk him down. I would have distracted him the first chance I got and then stabbed him. I'm glad you had a knife. I wish Georgie had a knife when Diego killed her. Don't you see, Lulu? That could be you. Your life could be over. You got a chance to do something that my sister didn't. Defend yourself. And I don't know why you're so sorry about that. You should be happy that you're alive in Logan's death. Because Johnny is paying for what I did. Johnny is fine. His whole demented family is looking out for him. How, how are they looking out for him? Just tell me. From what I understand, there's a strong circumstantial case against Johnny and Scott Baldwin's pulling all these favors trying to get the court date moved up. I know, Scott Baldwin told me he was gonna have me subpoenaed to testify against Johnny. Oh, that's really brave, threatening a mental patient. Sorry, just look, forget about Scott Baldwin and focus on getting better. I'm actually kind of glad you're here. Oh, yeah? Well, then you're gonna love this next part. Kate said when you're feeling better, you can have your old job back. That must kill you to tell me that. You have no idea. <laughs>